pinning uh, this turn signal thing with the um, adhesion promoter. Ended up spraying some of this primer. Uh, I'm noticing it's, it's too far gone for me to even save it. So what I'm gonna do, I'll show you what I do in situations like this. Show you what I do in a situation like this. And again, I'm not really too concerned about these. I was gonna raptor line this, but I changed my mind. I am gonna, however, spray it in a nice color. The 370Z fiber black. Oh, there's just a, a lot of the blemishes as I use this stone guard i like it because it acts a, it has a flexibility to the area it covers a lot of like pits and like hard to reach spots let's say i did it to toothless my stand far back because the stuff sprays really fast and has a good projector projectile look Oop. like that I had to hit front and back side because it's really hard to get inside the, the grill. But I think this outcome is going to look great. I did it on the Z. Big fan of it. So if you are going to spray something like this, make sure you put an adhesion promoter. Uh, I primered it. I don't think you really have to do that, but I did it for a safety precaution. This is all my main concern right here because I feel like that primer sticks out like a sore thumb.
All right, so this is one coat, one, psh, let it sit. And then the second coat was a little more moderate. This is it right here. I mean, it looks kind of cool. Looks kind of cool. The thing, cool thing about base coat is very forgiving. So if like if you screw up something, you could kind of like, you know, like tinker with it and get it back. Um, so yeah. So like I said, I am hitting, hitting in all sorts of angles because this is a stupid piece. <laughs> and this little booger is giving me a, a hard time. Like I dropped it like four times already. Not really worried about it. But it looks really good coming out cool all right so now i flipped it on its front just so i could get into the crevices of this and psh, all nice same thing with that side same thing with that little guy gonna let it sit for 15 minutes and uh give it a fourth coat you don't have to but i want to actually technically it's still the third coat but i have to hit it from a different angle so that's that's what i'm doing um, and then for the last coat, I'm just gonna give it a, a metallic effect. How do I do an effect coat? Basically like this, and just sprinkle it on. Left, so I'm gonna end with this one. This is a step away. Pick it up and down so it goes in all the crevices. As you can see, you've seen the starting to sparkle. Get all up in there, get all up in there. Alright, I got a little bit left though. I just want to use it. And one more time on this one. Okay. This way I don't feel bad.